Signs of the forces of erosion can be seen everywhere. From runoff channels carved across the Senate in the geyser basins, to the drainage created by the Fire Hole River, mountain building is evident as you drive south of Old Faithful. Toward Craig Pass, here the Rocky Mountains reach a height of 8,262 feet, 2,518 meters, dividing the country into two distinct watersheds. Yellowstone, as a whole, possesses close to 60% of the world's geysers. The upper geyser basin is home to the largest numbers of this fragile feature found in the park. Within one square mile there are at least 150 of these hydrothermal wonders. Of this remarkable number, only five major geysers are predicted regularly by the naturalist staff. They are Castle, Grand, Daisy, Riverside, and Old Faithful. There are many frequent, smaller geysers to be seen and marveled at in this basin, as well as numerous hot springs and one recently developed mud pot, if it lasts. Just north of Old Faithful are two smaller basins that are worth a visit. Both basins have parking lots or are accessible by foot via the trail network through the Upper Geyser Basin. Black Sand Basin is northwest of Old Faithful and has several enjoyable hydrothermal features, from the rather active cliff geyser to the chromatic rainbow pool and sunset lake. Further north of Old Faithful is Biscuit Basin named after the biscuit-shaped geyser right formations that can still be seen around parts of the majestic sapphire pool. There are also some enjoyable surprises along the boardwalk like Jewel Geyser, as well as the start of the Mystic Falls Trail at the far end of the boardwalk loop. This geyser basin, though small in size compared to its companions along the Firehole River, holds large hydrothermal wonders. First is Excelsior Geyser Crater, where a 200 feet x 300 feet 61 m x 91 m hot spring steams within and constantly discharges more than 4,000 gallons 15,142 l of water per minute into the Firehole River. Next is the chromatic wonder of Grand Prismatic Spring. Yellowstone's largest hot springs. This feature is 370 feet, 113 meters in diameter and more than 121 feet, 37 meters in depth. Lone Star Geyser erupts about every three hours. There is a logbook located in a cache near the geyser for observations of geyser times and types of eruptions. This is a 4.8 mile, 7.7 .7 kilometers easy there and back hike or bike that follows the Firehole River to the geyser. The trailhead is east of Kepler Cascades Pullout, 3.5 miles, 5.6 kilometers southeast of the Old Faithful Overpass on Grand Loop Road. Lone Star erupts 30 to 45 feet, 9 to 14 m, about every three hours. If you witness an eruption, please note the time and report it at the Old Faithful Visitor Education Center. Biking is not permitted beyond a barrier near the geyser. There are a lot of backcountry campsites in this region. A popular backcountry destination is Shoshone Geyser Basin. It is a 17-mile round-trip hike that crosses the Continental Divide at Grants Pass. This basin has no boardwalks, and extreme caution should be exercised when traveling through it. Trails in the basin must be used. Remote thermal areas, such as this, should be approached with respect, knowledge, and care. Be sure to emphasize personal safety and resource protection when entering a backcountry basin. There are two waterfalls that are relatively easy to get to in this region. Kepler Cascades is visible from a viewing platform at a pullout south of Old Faithful along the Grand Loop Road.
Mystic Falls is reached by a delightful day hike that starts at the far end of the Biscuit Basin Boardwalk Loop. It is either an easy there and back hike to the base of the waterfall, or you can make a loop of the hike, ascending the nearby hillside for sweeping views back across the Upper Geyser Basin. There are no campgrounds in the Old Faithful area. However, there are three lodging facilities found within walking distance of Old Faithful Geyser. Old Faithful Inn is the oldest of the three, with a truly historic feel. Old Faithful Snow Lodge is the newest lodge in the area, and has both modern hotel rooms and cabins. The third lodge, Old Faithful Lodge, has small cabin-style accommodations. <laughs>